created that name. Hello, and welcome to another marvelous video. Today we are going to talk about one of the most popular and feared characters in video game history. Twisted Metal has become an emblem of innovation, excitement, and adrenaline-fueled action. Since its inception, the series has captured the hearts of gamers worldwide, paving the way for numerous sequels and adaptations. One of the key factors behind the series' success is undoubtedly the unforgettable and chilling mascot known as Sweet Tooth. Drawing inspiration from the infamous real-life serial killer John Wayne Gacy, the character of Sweet Tooth is a disturbed clown with a strong inclination for chaos and devastation. His haunting appearance and chilling ice cream truck contrasted the game's already somber and gritty atmosphere. The combination of his horrifying mask and malevolent laughter evoked fear and unease among players, firmly establishing him as a character both instantly recognizable and deeply feared in the annals of video game history. So, sit back and accompany us as we embark on a journey to unravel this evil clown's anatomical and psychological traits. Let's begin. Before we go into our explanation, we have a very small request. If you like our content, please support us by subscribing to our channel. This is a small click for you, but for us, it means a lot. Thank you. Let's begin. For my first murders, I chose the perfect targets. The perfect family. I chose his family. Who is Marcus Kane? How does Marcus become Sweet Tooth? Sweet Tooth once inhabited the persona of Marcus Kane a middle-aged man leading a seemingly ordinary life with his wife and three children, while also operating as an ice cream vendor for Sweet Tooth's ice cream company. Marcus seemed happy and normal on the outside, but inside, he was boiling with resentment and hate that finally separated him into two distinct personalities. He was continually tormented by his inner self till he lost all control. He changed into the notorious Needles Kane by carving his characteristic mask that resembled the business's mascot. Tragically, Needles committed unspeakable acts, murdering his wife and infant daughter and attempting to take the life of his daughter Sophia, who managed to escape his clutches by wounding him in the eye with scissors. He allowed his scarred son to flee, seemingly with the intention of grooming him as a successor. This marked the beginning of his heinous killing spree, leading him to become one of the most notorious serial killers in history, claiming countless lives. What does he look like? Sweet Tooth's appearance bore a relatively normal demeanor during his initial debut in the original game. He sported a blood-stained red and white clown outfit, complemented by eerie face paint that symbolized his inner malevolence. Notably, he lacked the signature flaming head during this stage, instead showcasing curly green hair that had been dyed. In Twisted Metal 2, Sweet Tooth underwent a transformation, donning a white clown costume adorned with a large collar and three red pom-poms. His face paint became sharper, exuding a more sinister aura and he finally acquired his iconic flaming head. Twisted Metal 3 saw Sweet Tooth in a pink and red dress suit, featuring blood-red pinstripes, while Twisted Metal 4 presented his most peculiar design yet. He took on the guise of a circus ringmaster, clad in a blue and gold costume, accompanied by a striking red cape. Following Twisted Metal Black, which remains one of his most renowned incarnations, Sweet Tooth continued to maintain a shirtless appearance, bearing his muscular physique in all subsequent appearances. His attire compromised white pants, embellished with red polka dots, a departure from his previous costumes. As a part of his malevolent intentions, he discarded the face paint he once wore, instead opting for a haunting clown mask, which served as a means of distancing himself from his alter ego, Marcus Kane, and embracing his sinister identity fully. Let me tell you something, boys and girls. I sure as hell believe now. Why is Sweet Tooth's skull burning? When Sweet Tooth was finally apprehended and condemned to death by the electric chair, an unexpected turn of events occurred during the execution. A priest-like figure appeared and cursed Sweet Tooth with several hexes, condemning his soul. Surprisingly, Sweet Tooth did not meet his end, but instead awakened with his head perpetually engulfed in flames, rendering him in constant agony and seemingly granting him immortality. Presumably, he managed to escape confinement, but the torment caused by the unceasing inferno only served to plunge him further into madness. Can he undo the curse he has? Later on, as depicted in Twisted Metal Black, Sweet Tooth found himself once again incarcerated, marking the lengthiest period of confinement he had experienced thus far. During this time, he had ample opportunities for reflection, growing increasingly resentful of the curse that plagued him. Yearning to be free from its grasp, Sweet Tooth dreamt of liberation from the torment that plagued his existence. In a fateful turn of events, Calypso appeared and extended an offer to Sweet Tooth, a chance to participate in the Twisted Metal Tournament. The stakes were high. If Sweet Tooth emerged victorious, 
victorious. Calypso promised to reveal the method to undo the curse. Without hesitation, Sweet Tooth agreed to partake in the competition, desperate for a solution to his affliction. In the culmination of his story, Sweet Tooth confronted Calypso to receive his reward. The enigmatic figure handed the clown a vial containing the blood of the preacher responsible for his curse. Calypso explained that consuming the vial's contents would rid him of the curse, but any return to his murderous ways would prompt the condemnation to resurface. Remarkably, Sweet Tooth wasted no time in making his decision. In a mere 10 seconds, he resolved that he preferred to remain cursed rather than forsake his life as a killer. Fueled by this conviction, he defiantly shattered the vial and dispatched Calypso, cementing his status as the greatest killer of all time. He has an unspecified psychotic disorder. The character of Sweet Tooth is depicted as a disturbed and psychotic clown with a penchant for destruction and killing. Throughout the series, there are hints and glimpses into his troubled psyche, such as his split personality, which was mentioned earlier in our conversation. However, the exact nature of his mental disorder is left open to interpretation, allowing players and fans to speculate and theorize about his psychological state. As much as Marcus cherished his life, his psychological issues progressively worsened with the emergence of the Needles persona encroaching upon his consciousness. Eventually, Needles took control, giving birth to the malevolent Sweet Tooth, an insane clown who callously murdered a significant portion of Marcus's family without hesitation. After that, Sweet Tooth relentlessly pursued the daughter of Marcus, who had managed to evade his clutches. While the exact nature of his mental disorder remains undefined, Sweet Tooth is portrayed as a psychopathic serial killer with an insatiable urge to indulge in acts of murder. Is Sweet Tooth similar to Pennywise from IT movie franchise? Twisted Metal is set to receive a live-action adaptation through Peacock's upcoming series. Will Arnett lends his voice to Sweet Tooth, while professional wrestler Samoa Joe takes on the role of the iconic character. When asked about the distinctiveness of his portrayal of Sweet Tooth in comparison to other evil clowns in popular culture, like the infamous Pennywise from Stephen King's IT, Arnett elucidates that Sweet Tooth's terrifying nature is overt and evident, but he also possesses a notable comedic aspect, making him funnier than other killer clowns seen in films and television. Funnier and deadlier, according to me. Can he separate his split personalities? By 2005's Twisted Metal Head On, Sweet Tooth had already participated and emerged victorious in multiple iterations of the Twisted Metal Tournament, establishing himself as one of Calypso's top killers. However, the monotonous nature of the tournaments eventually wearied him, leading Sweet Tooth to crave something more. He yearned for control and decided that he wanted to take charge of the tournament himself. Consequently, Sweet Tooth devised a wish to swap places with Calypso. Initially, Calypso rejected the request, stating he would never grant such a wish. However, Sweet Tooth pressed on, emphasizing that Calypso had no alternative alternative. In a twist of fate, the two suddenly switched bodies, leaving Calypso in Sweet Tooth's form and vice versa. Calypso desperately tried to regain control and ordered his guards to eliminate Sweet Tooth. Yet, the cunning Sweet Tooth intervened, manipulating the guards to turn against Calypso instead, ultimately leading to Calypso's own demise. In the alternative ending as Dark Tooth, Sweet Tooth encounters his separated split personality, now seemingly distinct entities. They come across the non-operational Tower Tooth, an enormous and horrifying modification of Sweet Tooth's truck. Still puzzled, Marcus inquires about the other entity's identity, to which Sweet Tooth responds that he is Marcus. Although confused, Marcus questions the reasons behind these events, but Sweet Tooth convinces him to let go of those thoughts. So, to answer the question in short, yes, he can separate his split identities when it is convenient for him. What is his favorite ice cream flavor? Considering that this deranged clown famously arrives in a modified ice cream truck, it certainly piques curiosity about his preferred ice cream flavor, doesn't it? No? Well, I am going to answer that anyway. It's nothing weird. It's just plain strawberry. Throughout various games in which he has appeared, Sweet Tooth can be seen holding an ice cream cone with the iconic pink scoop adorned with delightful bits of fruity goodness. This choice of flavor is even highlighted as a significant aspect of his storyline in PlayStation's All-Stars Battle Royale, further solidifying buying strawberry as his go-to ice cream indulgence. Can he reproduce after becoming that Sweet Tooth? It is uncertain whether Marcus retains the ability to reproduce after transforming into Sweet Tooth. The Twisted Metal lore does not provide explicit information regarding Sweet Tooth's reproductive capabilities, but certain factors imply that he might not want any kids. One significant factor is that he already killed Marcus's kids when he first became Sweet Tooth. Another crucial aspect is Sweet Tooth and Marcus's stark contrast in personalities. Marcus was a regular individual capable of love and compassion, whereas Sweet Tooth is a sadistic 
sadistic killer who revels in causing pain and suffering. Given Sweet Tooth's malicious nature, it seems improbable that he would be interested in having children. And even if he did, the likelihood of him providing them with a nurturing and supportive home is doubtful, considering his evil disposition. However, as Marcus already had children, and considering that Sweet Tooth is primarily portrayed as a personality disorder without any physical transformations, there seems to be no specific reason why he can't reproduce. However, whether we will ever witness an offspring of this demonic clown remains uncertain and open to speculation. The game's narrative has not explored such a possibility, leaving it as an intriguing and unanswered question for fans to ponder. Do you want to see a tiny sweet tooth? What do you think the character's name should be? Let us know in the comments below. Is he immortal? In the Twisted Metal video game series, Sweet Tooth is depicted as having certain traits that suggest a form of immortality. In some of the games, Sweet Tooth displays the ability to resurrect or come back to life after being defeated or killed, making it seem like he is immortal in a sense. For example, in the ending of Twisted Metal Black, Sweet Tooth survives his execution in the electric chair, emerging with his head constantly on fire, seemingly granting him immortality. In the 2012 reboot of Twisted Metal, Sweet Tooth's origin story remains unchanged where he commits the heinous act of killing his wife and two children, with an unsuccessful attempt to take the life of his daughter, Sophie, who manages to escape. Following his triumph in the Twisted Metal Tournament, Sweet Tooth makes a wish for Calypso to reveal Sophie's hiding place. To his dismay, Sweet Tooth awakens to find himself confined in a coffin with a lifeless, charred skeleton lying above him. Calypso discloses the tragic truth that Sophie had already passed away ten years prior, her mind shattered by the tragedy of her family's murder, leading her to take her own life while residing in a hospital hospital since that dreadful night. Filled with rage at Calypso's deceit, Sweet Tooth struggles in vain to escape the coffin, vowing to exact revenge on him. However, he is buried too deep in the ground leaving him unable to make any progress. In a final act of cruelty, Calypso spray paints Sweet Tooth on Sophie's tombstone, condemning the murderous clown to suffocation. Later, Calypso visits Sophie's grave, recognizing that Sweet Tooth's actions have profoundly affected her, manifesting great potential for inflicting pain. Deciding to exploit her rage and hatred, Calypso resurrects Sophie as a female version of her father, complete with the clown mask and fiery scalp, ready to wreak havoc and follow in her father's dark footsteps. Ultimately, it is up to you to decide whether or not you believe that Sweet Tooth is immortal. There is no clear answer in the Twisted Metal lore, and the evidence can be interpreted differently. However, it is worth noting that Sweet Tooth's immortality is not essential to his character. Even without it, he is a complex and exciting character, and his backstory is just as compelling whether or not he is truly immortal. Can't hide from me, little girl. Marvelous Verdict that brings us to the end of this video. The narrative depth and significance of Sweet Tooth's transformation into an immortal being and the potential ramifications of his actions on others, like his daughter Sophie, highlight the profound and weighty aspects of his character. Despite his terrifying nature, Sweet Tooth's popularity remains intact, owing to the eerie fascination evoked by the darkness he embodies, which engenders curiosity and captivation among his fans. The lore centered around Sweet Tooth serves as evidence of the timeless appeal that morally complex and ambiguous characters hold within the realm of video games. As an evil clown relentlessly pursuing chaos and destruction, Sweet Tooth's legacy is bound to continue captivating and chilling audiences for generations to come. What do you find interesting about Sweet Tooth? Let us know in the comments below. And if you liked our content, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to us if you haven't already. Have a good one and be safe. Thanks everyone.